Welcome to Trey's Retro Revival. This week we're going to start off my playthroughs of the Super Star Wars games. It's December and it's Star Wars month. Last Jedi is coming out soon, so I'm going to do a play of these each week, every Sunday. You can catch it on Twitch at 3 o'clock doing Super Star Wars today. Let's take a look. <laughs> Hi, this is Trey from Nintendo Main. I'm going to do a playthrough of Super Star Wars, one of my favorite Star Wars games for Super Nintendo. I played this a lot when I was in high school, so I'm going to do sort of a speed run, but I'm still going to watch the uh, cutscenes and stuff, so it's not like a record speed run or anything, which I've never really tried to do. I'm just going to play through the whole thing right here in one sitting, so, so yeah. Look at that beautiful, beautiful scroll here. I'm doing this for the for the new movie that comes out in a couple weeks. I'm gonna do one of the Super Nintendo games every week until the movie comes out. So I'll do Super Star Wars this week and Empire next week and Return of the Jedi after that. After the movie's out, so you know. Look at those moving letters. I mean, it looked pretty cool for the time, but. I think these games still hold up all right. I mean, they're still a lot of fun to play. This first one's like the most primitive one out of all of them. I think Empire's probably my favorite of the three of them, but, you know. Not quite as epic as the movie beginning, but, you know. Got the plan together. All right. The key strategy in this is to uh, always collect those hearts. You know, always need them. Look out for scorpions and sand. the alternate version of Star Wars where uh, Luke's a mass murderer just goes around and kills everybody kills all of the life it's like the force gives no fuck about you it's danger dangers at every corner in, in Tatooine uh, Womp Rats. It's pretty rad that they actually put Womp Rats in here. You know, so you can see if they really are the size of the, uh, the hole in the Death Star. Of course, there's uh, gun upgrades as you go. The fire upgrade here. There's a secret over here somewhere, too. somewhere
That's all right. I'll just keep moving on without it. These crazy looking snakes. Maybe it's over here. It's by one of these. By one of these fucking skeletons. I always felt like it can't. It kind of just randomly appears. rocks out. Look out for those arms. It's kind of upsetting that uh, when they, when Lucas, uh, Lucas did his own movies and updated the Sarlacc monster, he didn't make it look like this. Just gave it that weird mouth. It's pretty annoying. I mean, Should have taken this one and just ran with it. First level in the can. There we go. They skip a few parts and just, you know, alter it, but that's fine. He doesn't, you know, they don't do the whole part. Now this is a this is a cool part. Like if you, uh, it's pretty difficult if you if you move, but just stay in one spot and shoot these guys it makes it way easier. It's it's probably the only time you can do this on on these games. Is this part? Well, I mean, and you know, you could. There's another part like this later in the game, but it's when you're the sand crawler, like still, still slowly gets closer to you, even when you're not moving. Did do a lot of bullseyeing of womp rats, and they're all over the place. Bullseyeing of womp rats and Jawas. driver almost got hit by that thermal last minute here's one of the most annoying levels in the whole game this whole this whole section is annoying I 
kind of annoying that like everything hurts you. Like even the the shrapnel from that thing, it hurts you. But I got the I got the seeker now, so that's good. to the jump. It's annoying. Where are you? There we are. Take these fuckers out. the jumping a lot easier in the games after this because they do sort of a sort of bounce jump where you can uh, do a double jump which is nice this one it's just just one jump I always want to get those guys before the before the robots come out because you don't want to have to deal with those robots at least they stay destroyed. See, everything kind of pushes you a little bit too when you get hit. That's annoying. Ooh. That was a close one. No! No! Wow. It's these ones these ones don't stay dead. Some of them do, I guess. That one did. Maybe I shot it from up, uh, up above. Motherfucker. I think I can go down this way. See, yeah, there's nothing down here. See, there's one of those fucking robots. Shut up, Arrow. so well on my first run there.
That robot one at the end. Almost got that guy. Or he almost got me. Son of a bitch! I guess you have to fucking... Have to fucking super jump that shit. It's so annoying. I said, no, this, this is the worst level. Because you gotta do it all over again. These are all my always, my most hated types of levels from 90s games. Like a level where you get so far and then you fall down and you gotta start all over again. So, I got a super jump to that. There you go. That's not that hard. Let's see, there should be another one coming. All right. These guys can be a pain here. If you're not careful. Super tricker happy for this. You can accidentally get yourself killed. Like how most of this game is. Easy ac easily accidentally get yourself killed. Made it. Alright. Now this part's a whole another a whole another ball of wax down here. It's probably one of the most annoying bosses of all time. Mr. Uh, Beast Joanko. that eyeball. <laughs> Somewhere in here there's a wall you can walk through. I got these little drills down here, I'm ready to kill you.
There we go. There it is. I get the plasma gun. No! Damn it. Didn't even get that extra life. But that is a good spot to go to, you know, in case in case you fuck up. I forgot about those forgot about these fucking shield things. It's a whole other level of annoyance. Shooters here. Find this little safe spot here. Get rid of them. Another spot where you can easily get killed if you're not careful. some more lightsabers over here. Maybe not. Oh, here they are. This part. Go to the right. Alright. This is the most annoying part of the whole game. Coming up here. I guess the beginning of it. Because you die. You hit that that lava once and you're out. Done for. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Motherfucker. Jesus. And I just fall right in there. Of course I do. Fucking bullshit. get to that spot. Maybe not. This game is a lot like Super Mario Bros. 1 where like you gotta make it through the whole thing with all the... The farther you get with all the power-ups, the better, because if you die, you come back with nothing. It's the only way I could beat Super Mario 1. Just keeping my, keeping my stuff through the whole game. Here, here's that dick bag. Yeah. 
That's how I normally kill him. Just shit over here. Shoot him. Stay out of the lava. What are you gonna do? Yes. All right. That level was a lot less bad than I thought it would be. That's one of the big... I mean, once you make it through that, I think the rest of the game is pretty damn easy. I say now, you know. these guts it's uh it's like icky it's a funny animation Saber soon. Snake. Snake killing me. I think this is where there's a secret, yeah, a secret down here. We can 
go get a bunch of extra lives. You have to. The thing is, you have to kill yourself afterwards. And I'm also gonna lose my. Use lose my blaster, but I can stockpile some lives in the meantime. But I mean, this, your blaster's not really gonna matter. Because you get the lightsaber through this. I'll end up with 27. Fine with that. Dude, they just plays out this whole part with the just their faces. It's like, well, little fellow, what you got? Luke, here's your lightsaber. It's it's the weapon of a Jedi Knight. He doesn't say anything about it. It's here's your father's lightsaber that I took after I cut all his limbs off and left him in the left him to die. It's pretty fucked up. How are you going on a murder's rampage? Pretty sure uh, Anakin got a dark side point for doing this. Super version. Banthas. It's killing the animals, too. I think in later games you can actually, the, the health sword actually, actually saves from level to level. Maybe not. I felt like I, I felt like I got it pretty far before. Blow all you up. We have to fight a giant womp rat at the end here. 
It's pretty funny. It's like, let's get as many Womp Rats in here as we can. Something down there? What? Okay, yeah. It's like it wouldn't... Because there's an arrow. Yeah, right there telling you not to go. So you don't fall down again. Which is helpful. Come a lot quicker with a lightsaber, but he gets his hands on you. Life will deplete so quickly. I can't bounce that off the ceiling. certain walls. It's nice nice details that they added in there. That Yeah got you. If you stop it at the right time there, it looks like Luke's riding it. Riding the mutant womp rat. Alright. More Mode 7 Jawa destroying. My favorite thing. those floating chairs to come back in some way and fit that into a movie. It's the last you will see of the speeder until Super Return of the Jedi. That one has an interesting intro with it. 
We have to jump over. Hey, we got some stormtroopers. These guys can die, right? I mean, they, they do die a lot. Empire Jedi, you can actually you can actually shoot the lasers back at them. You can run on these things too. Seeker. There's another one over there. That's okay. I think the weapons carry on to uh, Han and Chewie, though. Chewie. What's up, man? So, in the movie, I guess uh, they talked to Chewie before they talked to Han, so they worked that into the game to where you meet Chewie first, and then you gotta go destroy some, uh... Gotta just go destroy some giant chess piece. Yeah. Cloaks. This is a 
the band, Modal Nodes. Finger and Dan and the Modal Nodes. Finger and Dan like, sounds like such a dirty word. Dirty name. Him. He's uh, he's one of the chess pieces from when they play uh, the hologram chess. We use him as a boss there. It's nice. We might as well use Han here. I like uh, they, they don't they couldn't get a, a Harrison Ford impersonator to do his voice or anything. He's just represented by a by a shot, just by a laser shot. Empire, they add stuff to make them different. Where Han has uh, bombs and Chewie has like a spinning move. The spinning move's pretty, pretty damn uh, powerful. They also start in this. They start with a higher. They all start with the fire upgrade already, which they do in the next game. But then, in the one after that. Where Luke doesn't have a doesn't have a blaster anymore. You start with the with the uh, laser, just the regular fire. Take the high road. Two sons back there. Good old Tatooine. Most used, overused planet in Star Wars. I mean, they even used it in the new movie. They just called it a different thing. I mean, it's pretty much still Tatooine. Just have that cool roll. These giant, giant claws. That shield to help me get out of here.
I wish they would make a game like this for every one of the every one of the movies. I was hoping they would like the prequels. They would have gotten made something for a Game Boy Advance like that, like this. And they did do like a Star Wars trilogy game that was side scroller, but it was nothing like this. Loads. you'd ever want to park your ship here. It's so dangerous. Oh yeah, this one's cool. It has all the different parts that you can destroy. It's like if you, you know, you don't get killed. Come on. I'm totally going to get killed here. That's that top one that I still gotta kill. I still made it through. Barely. Oh, you got some, uh. You got some William Falcon stages coming up too, I think. Should be. Yeah, there it goes. I don't know, maybe there aren't any yet. Maybe all the Millennium Falcon stages are in uh, are in Return of the Jedi. Those levels are pretty cool, though. They add a lot more space stuff in between. The dreaded Death Star. Alright, who's up? Let's do some Chewy, I guess. It's like, yeah, let's, let's have them go through the hangar here. Why they just keep getting hit by TIE Fighters. That sounds like a good idea, right? Yeah, great. Great idea. Could have gotten all the uh, blaster power ups in this. Instant kills. Right in there. Instant death. It's the worst. Take that. Thirty lives. 
Don't think I need him. Wish they could incorporate this into the new movie and somehow. It's Chewy Chewy jumping over TIE Fighters. I mean, that's what people really want to see. I mean, you can do that with some CGI, right? People love CGI. Fence droid uh, got lost from the uh, got lost from the RoboCop set. It's the ED two hundred nine. Funny thing about this game, I mean, there's a lot of funny things about this game, but uh, you're gonna see it. But in the next like level or two, you get to fight, uh, you get to fight the actual tractor beam. It's like an empire. You get to you get to fight the uh, carbonite freezing machine, also, which I always like to do as Han because you know it's funny. Let's go back to Han, I guess. No, I guess I should should do this part as Luke, because that's he's the first one they see. She sees in the movie. It's too bad you don't get to wear any of the stormtrooper armor. Oh, ouch! <laughs> things. Oh, there's a... I don't need it. There's a blaster thing. I do like how, he, how it shows the, the robots like come in from the from the background to the foreground. It's a pretty cool trick. Those guys. Dr. Ball. You saw it, but it's a cool trick. Get out of there, Luke. I'm doing so hot here. Need some hearts. Get out of there. Thank God that guy has a bigger heart. Am I going to come back? No. Yeah, there we go. Find those hearts. 
It's gonna kill me though. you can get some hearts back from him. Kill me there, fucker. Motherfucker. Chew, you're so fucking slow.
find out. There we go. It's Chewy will save her this time. Time to go fight the tractor beam. It's the first time I found out that uh, Chewy was really old. It says he's 200, 200 years old, according to the game. It's another one of these levels that I said was my favorite. Where you gotta go up. It's not as bad as that fucking sand crawler, though. I mean, that thing was the worst. Not sure if it was going to come over here or not. Tractor beam. This is how you destroy the tractor beam. Tractor beam's gonna destroy me. What's gonna happen here? Well, as long as those balls keep getting destroyed up there, I'll be safe. It's like halfway. Less, he's got less than half left. I got less than half too, but I think I'll be okay. It's just those ones that explode. The ones to look out for. Alright, I got it anyway. Yeah! Fuck you, tractor beam. Fuck that tractor beam! That's how you get out the Death Star. Too bad you can't do that part as Obi-Wan with this lightsaber. Make it more uh, true to the movie. 
the white lightsabers. I would have liked to have been able to play this level too with Obi-Wan. He should should have been a playable character, but oh well. All the lightsaber stuff is for the next two games. More powerful than you can imagine. That guy was in Rogue One. You saw him. Oh, giant sprite. Oh, man. I forgot the way this controls. Oh, badly. <laughs> Hours and they destroy you. traditional flight controls, so it's annoying. You gotta shoot these. Gotta shoot these guys. It's pretty cool for uh, Super Nintendo standards, though. went in. Yeah! Yeah! Blow up that shit. How 
was one in a million. Thanks, dude. this amazing rendition of the ending of the game here or ending of the movie it's pretty funny to watch these little tiny the people are so tiny so tiny little bodies walk up yeah <laughs> Judy still doesn't get a medal in this one yeah poor guy no medal and another victory against the evil empire Be careful, or the Empire might strike back. <laughs> they might. You never know. Now you get to see... Now they built the game over screen that we never saw, because I never did that. I only died like two times. If I was uh, trying to be quicker about it, I probably could have. Probably could have got it in under an hour, but, you know, I wanted to stockpile those lives, which I really didn't even need. Like Harrison Fong, not to be confused with Harrison Ford. Yeah, Fong, I remember he had his name in the, uh, in the high scores of the Empire Strikes Back one. Yeah, it's all over the place. He's a couple letters away from my Harrison Ford. I guess maybe they hired him so people would think that maybe he was in here. Mark Gainus. Let's try to see if there's any names in here that I that I uh, recognize. Oh, Lucas Arts. God rest their soul. Special thanks to Lucas. Skywalker sound. Nineteen ninety two. So twenty five years old. And there you have it. That's my playthrough of Super Star Wars. A lot quicker than I thought it would be. Make sure and stay tuned next. Make sure and stay tuned next week for uh, Super Empire Strikes Back playthrough. Maybe that one will be a little bit longer. Not trying brave mode. Not yet. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>